When was the last time you got out your throw bag and just did a few practice throws? Throwing a throw bag to a friend in need can be a very important skill, and it's an easy thing to practice. You don't have to have a swimming pool like the one we have here. You can do this in a grassy field, but the swimming pool does make it more fun. My friend here, she's not a very good swimmer, so if she were to fall in the pool, Who's going to help her? Now before we throw our rope, we're going to want to get a length of coil out of the bag and hold in our hand. This is going to be, in case we miss our first throw, we have a backup throw ready to go. There are two main ways that we can throw our rope, overhand and underhand. Personally I feel I have a little bit more accuracy with the underhand throw. Others feel they prefer the overhand throw. The important thing is for you to practice and determine which one works better for you. First, I will demonstrate the overhand throw. Normally, getting hit in the face is a bad thing. However, if you're going for a scary swim and a throw bag hits you in the face, you're gonna be pretty happy about it. So, we grab a hold of our bag like this in one hand and we have our rope coils in the other hand and we simply, just like throwing a ball, take a step and throw the bag, hoping to hit our victim square in the face. For the underhanded throw, think of it as like you're throwing your friend a softball. But if your friend is swimming, don't actually throw them a softball, because that won't be very helpful. So now that I saved my friend here, we can go on about the rest of our day having a good time out on the water. <sighs> Not again. <laughs>